So out here on a jog today in the Yowie Bay. Um, they're doing some excavation work here in the front yard, uh, boys here. And they've uh, come across this old Telstra cable, right? Now, this one is a little bit going what's going on here because this lady here has been put on the MBN. Well, it's got MBN fibre to the node. Um, and they haven't connected her up to the, to the new leading cable. They've basically been bloody lazy as and just put her onto the uh, existing one. Right? If it's really old, it's in what's really still fond you. Right? So, so basically, we've got the end of the cable here. So that's the one going to the new part, the new box. But they've got a can up here where they've joined it to. And look, like, you know, um, check this out. So, you know, uh, that was full of water. This lid here. So I just sort of pulled it off and poured all the water out of it. Um, but I've got my tone coming here from the house. Somewhere. There it is. All right, so that's coming from the socket. So, you know, instead of running all new cables, fixing another thing, I'm just going to do MBN's job for them. All right, so, you know, sue me. I'm just going to uh, connect this up properly for the customer. All right, guys, it made me as. So I finally worked out what's going on here. This was an absolute mess, right? They had had bridge taps in their own network. Um, so I worked out that this cable, that's the old leading cable going to the damaged part. Then they had that then connected into this snot box, right? That, that was in this, this snot box here, right? Then it was going into here. Then it was going, one of them, uh, somehow they had them joined up. Now this one, this cable here is the feed that's coming from the DPU, which is back there where it needs to be, where the actual new leading cable is. For some stupid reason, they've brought it up to this joint. They had it connected through this joint, which was all wet, but then they also had it I don't know how, why they've had this double snot box thing going on here, but then they had it feeding back into this joint, feeding back up into another one of these pairs, going God knows where. So I've worked out what's going on. I'm surprised her internet even works. She said she's just had constant, constant issues, even before, um, you know, these guys dug through the cable. So, yep, I'm gonna do this so it's all proper. So this cable now, I'm gonna pull this back to the other pit where it's supposed to go, and then join it up properly to the brand new leaning cable, so it's not going through into the old crap. What a joke. You know, MBN, I'm doing this because your guys aren't, right? So that's the only reason why I'm in here doing this, because you guys, you know, you guys won't do this. Right, so I've pulled that cable down from the pit up here to here. Right, and now, well, they should have done, you know, because that's the tail for the new leaning cable. It goes over to the box on the wall. So why the hell they didn't do that in the first place? Now I can just scotch lock this one with the one I just pulled back, put a snot box on it. You know, happy days, the customer's not got any problems. Well, that's not necessarily true. As, cause this cable here, right, is running back down to a pit down here. I'll show you down that pit too. It's just, uh, it's a joke. Well, under the house, and you can see, this old lead leading cable, right? Uh, that's where the other leading cables came into and I've got a feeling that uh, that where it was splitting off onto the um, other cable I reckon for some reason was feeding back in to this lead cable because when they've dug up you can see this lead cable it actually joins onto a PVC cable and it's just been thrown in the ground they've put a bomb joint on it I'll show, I'll show you it marvelous work and that was just buried in the ground so they just buried a piece of 
Um, um, you know, this would have been Telstra, this wouldn't have been MBN, but uh, yeah, I'll show you in a sec. Anyway, so I've just got to pull my cable out through here now, <coughs> and then, then I've got it, that's my other cable there. So I've just pushed that through the hole. So now I'm going to pull this cable, which goes up to the socket. So I've disconnected um, all the bridge taps underneath here. And now this leading cable is just going to be going directly to the socket. So I will feed it through this hole now, where I've got my little draw wire cable coming through, and then that will bring it out to the box. Okay, so now I've uh, connected the cable going to the socket to my draw wire going through here. And now we'll go outside and pull this through and then we can do our termination. And then that basically should be it, her um, fibre of the curb should come back on. Alright, there it is. So now connect onto this one. Right. Start. Here's what I was talking about. This is where that had the old cable, red one, got enough for that, bomb joint, right? So got the old lead cable here, right? It's a lead, right? And then that's joined to PVC, that was buried to the ground. <laughs> and that was one of the ones that was going back to here, right? Um, yeah, so, right, David. Okay, so I've joined the new leading cable and the end point up to here to the cable that I've pulled back to the pit that was up here. Right, and then the DPU is obviously down in that direction down there. So now I'm going to put a stop box on um, to keep this waterproof, keep the weather out of it. Um, and that's the right thing to do. Dave the leader like that. You can see that all too often, and that is the stop box as well. Uh, it's called the Unilark box, but we call it stop boxes. Right, I'll put it in there. I'll pass it in just like this. Right, um, you put your join inside here. You can see the freezer that hits at the end. And then this is like a sticky gel. Have I done that? Yeah. Stuck. But that's just the gel, so it keeps everything close to it. Alright, got this Scotty on. So we'll just try and do a little bit of this bit. Alright, so I've done my join here now. Uh, I'm just going to go inside, test everything before I put the lid on and make sure it's all working properly. And so now I've just plugged back into the socket and we'll just uh, wait for this to uh, wait for this to connect. Okay, so our sink lights come on. Now we just wait for the DSL light to go solid and there's that. Alright, and now we should have internet. That would be another happy customer, I'd imagine. Hey guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up, like a bridge tap, or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service, or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed. Um, we provide a range of services to help you out. There'll be some links underneath this video um, and you can click on those links and they'll take you through to our website where you can book my service. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.